Am I the asshole? For not buying my son a car like I did for the rest of his siblings. I have four kids, twin boys both 27, one girl and another son. This post is about my youngest son, Jack. Since they were children, I promised my kids two things, one, I'll fully pay for all of their college expenses housing tuition food etc and two, once they graduate college, I will buy them a car. I kept that promise for all my kids, except with Jack and now am I want to know if I am an asshole for that. I paid for Jack's college expenses, but I am refusing to buy him a car, below is some of the reasons why. 1. I co-signed my name on the lease for Jack's room that he rents with a friend, and I sent Jack his portion of the rent every month. The friend started taking advantage of my name being on the lease and stopped paying for rent too, knowing I will cover the amount because I don't want missed payments on my credit score. I asked Jack multiple times to ask his roommate to pay his portion, but the boy did not care to even respond to me and I ended up paying for six months of his friend's rent too until I finally solved the problem by getting my name out of the lease. 2. Jack have a very rude and entitled attitude. He speaks to us like we are his low-performing employees, the only time he contacts us is when he wants money and goes no contact otherwise, and we don't know what we ever did to him to treat us that way. Three. Last year when my wife had to be hospitalized, all of my kids flew back home to be there for their mother. Jack didn't want to but one of his siblings bought him a ticket and talked him into flying out. Instead of being glad to be beside his very sick mother at the hospital, he spent the entire visit making everyone run errands for him his sister has to cook a very specific type of meal for him we had to drive him to the gym at a very specific time he demands etc and acted like it was one huge inconvenience for him to have to fly out. I even talked to my other kids about whether we were bad parents that caused Jack to act this way but all my other kids don't know why he ended up so entitled and spoilt. The rest of my kids are extremely different from Jack, we all get along with each other and care about one another. For the rest of my kids, I spent maybe $100,000 on each kid's total college expenses. With Jack's careless spending habits and unwillingness to save us any money, Jack's college years ended up costing me $180,000. So I refused to buy the promised car. Jack's upset and has gone to his grandparents complaining about me. My mill already hates me and now is calling me an asshole saying I am playing favorites because I bought everyone a car and not Jack. Info, please. When did Jack start acting like this? Mill can buy him a freaking car if she cares that much. You've done more for him than most parents even dream of. He's rude, spoiled and entitled and he doesn't deserve anything more from you. Not the asshole, he's a spoiled brat, you helped him with other stuff anyway and you ended up getting screwed over. Not the asshole, he got his car payments redirected into his rent. Info does the $100,000 you list for the older three include both their education and vehicle? Not the asshole. On the surface, yes he's not getting a car like his other siblings. However, he incurred a lot of extra expenses that amount to enough to buy two brand new cars. He spent his car already. ESH. You raised a spoiled ass, and while you're not obligated to buy him a car, you should have forewarned him that dealing with the rent issues meant no car. Not the asshole I wouldn't pay a penny. Let him learn, he is an adult. Let him do it alone. Not the asshole buy him a second hand Toyota Corolla and wash your hands of your son. Not the asshole. I just buy him a $1000 shitbox and tell him to enjoy the ride. Not the asshole, your mill can buy him a car. Not the asshole Milk can buy him a car if she wants. You need to stop spoiling him, giving him money and doing everything for him. Because of this he has turned into an entitled spoiled R. That's your own fault that he's turned out like this. Not the asshole. Jack needs a kick in the ass. Why does Jack do this? Cause you let him. Stop paying his way. Tell the mill to get bent. Let them be the meal ticket. Cut your losses. 
let him figure out what it's like to support himself. On day he might get a clue. Or not. Not the asshole. Not the asshole, but Jack is. And assholery should have consequences. Not the asshole. If you don't break your promise you're reinforcing that this kind of behavior gets rewarded. He's got to learn sometime. Jack is a spoiled asshole. He has had his money just not on a car. Not the asshole. I agree this moment has been years in the making. And it is what it is. So, info. Have you ever told the boy that he must change or he would lose the car? Not the asshole. Buy him a Hot Wheels car. Natar. But was the roommate on the lease too? Because I'd look to see if you have any legal avenues to travel down. If your mill is so concerned, she can get one for him. Or buy him a cheap car and never cosign a thing for him again. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. Buy him a beta for less than $1,000. Not the asshole, you paid for his car, by paying for his roommate. If he wants that vehicle, he can collect that back rent. Not the asshole. Tell him you'll get him a car when he pays you back for the six months of his and his roommate's rent you are forced to cover. Or be petty, matchbox car. Plot twist Jack told the roommate to pay him directly and the roommate had no idea Jack wasn't sending their money to you. Jack sounds spoiled enough I'd bet some collusion between them where Jack has some of your money. Buy him a Hot Wheels lol. Nada. You said you'd buy him a car. It'd be very petty. This us what I'd do. Buy him a toy car from the dollar store. Technically you never said what kind of car so you're still keeping your promise. Are you still giving him money? Not the asshole. But I'd say buy him the car and then leave him off your will, and tell him that the extra expense you bore for his college is the reason why. He has lived and used up his inheritance. Your other kids haven't. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. Not the asshole it's about time Jack learned these lessons but I'm guessing his entire family has babies him from birth so he knows nothing else. It's your money so spend on what you want but make it clear you think he's an R. Not the asshole. Mill can buy one. Not the asshole he's disrespectful and entitled. It's time to get your name off the lease break the lease of the apartment if needed and let Hack be an adult and work for what he wants. You don't owe him a car. You spend more than that on his flat already. Just saying that one was not on Jack. You should have sued the kid. Six months of past rent should cover the car, tell him to go fetch. Not the asshole. No is a word he needs to learn. Uh, did you take Jack's friend to court for the unpaid rent? B did Jack's attitude change before or after meeting this friend? If your mill thinks that entitled little a whole sorry, dad needs a car, let her buy him one. Not the asshole I'd have given him the budget for a car and insisted he pay the six months rent he could t bother to help collect out of that. I'd have set a number maybe $1,000 over that rent. Not the asshole. I totally agree with you.